This is a Made Simple Learning video tutorial. Visit our site for hundreds more videos. In this video, we'll show you how to sync your media, which is music, pictures, and videos, between your computer and your BlackBerry. For pictures and videos, those are videos that you can take from your computer and put to on your BlackBerry. Or, if you've taken pictures or videos on your BlackBerry, you can easily sync those back to your computer. And we'll find out how in this video. The first thing you need to do is connect your BlackBerry to your computer with a USB cable. You can see I've got mine connected. And if you've got a 6.0 or higher BlackBerry, you can also sync using Wi-Fi. But for this video, we'll show you how to use the USB cable that you got with your BlackBerry. So once you're connected, you'll see the USB logo here next to your BlackBerry name. If you've got a different BlackBerry than my bold 9700, you'll see your BlackBerry name here. Now, a couple of things before you start to set up your music sync. Let's click on device up here and let's go down to device options. And we're going to click on the media tab here in device options. And in this case, I'm using iTunes on my computer, but if you were using Windows Media Player or other software, use this drop down menu here and select it. You also want to leave the default here. In order to get album art on your BlackBerry, it'll want to grab it from iTunes or whatever software you've selected. So leave that box checked there. And then you'll want to know where your pictures and videos you sync from your BlackBerry to your computer go. They go into your pictures folder inside BlackBerry or videos folder inside the BlackBerry folder. If you want to change that, you could do it here by clicking change folder and browsing to a new folder. Now, media on your device. I've got a 2 gigabyte media card. You'll need to have a media card, which is a micro SD format media card, inserted in your BlackBerry to do anything with media. Pictures, videos, and music. In my case, I've got a pretty small card, a 2 gigabyte card. You can actually get 4, 8, 16, and even 32 gigabytes on some of your devices. You can delete all the media from your media card by just clicking there. So those are your media options in Desktop Manager. Let's click OK to close that out. Now to set up your media sync, let's go down here after we've connected our BlackBerry. And I've got a bunch of artists, playlists, and genres set up. And if you click on one up here, you can see what's actually in that playlist. And if I want to sync that playlist, I check the box and it's set up to sync. Notice down here it says 232 megabytes free after sync. If I uncheck it, I've got 388 free. So if you keep checking off stuff, watch what happens. Almost immediately I exceeded available storage. That means I ran out of space on my media card on my BlackBerry. So I have to be a little more careful what I select here. If I want to select just a specific genre of music, I could. If I click on pop, It'll just barely fit, notice, on the bottom. I could even go over here and select a specific artist. Let's say I just wanted Sting songs, and I could do that. And that's the media sync for music. If you had a huge media card, you could actually click up here and sync all your music. It's rare, though, that you'll have enough memory in even a 32 gigabyte card to sync all your music if you have a sizable library on your computer. Let's take a look at pictures. Now I've taken some pictures on my BlackBerry, so those are all shown here. You can see two tabs here. I've got device pictures and computer pictures. Now if I want to add folders to sync, I would click on add folder here and then locate and browse to another folder on my computer and then click OK. Any new device pictures from my BlackBerry would be imported and synced to the folder I showed you before. Pictures slash BlackBerry. And if I want to import all these new pictures, I would click Import. You notice now it says New Device Pictures. If I wanted to show all device pictures, I could. But my computer, since I haven't synced this BlackBerry before, looks at all my pictures as new pictures. If you took just a few new pictures, only those would be shown here under New Device Pictures. And to import, you click here and it'll import all your new pictures and save them for backup on your computer. Now videos are very similar. Now I've got 133 videos on my device. These are all my Made Simple Learning how-to videos. 
They're all about three minutes long, and they allow me to learn how to use my BlackBerry. Everything from the basics to Bluetooth, copy and paste, how to use email, phone, comp calling. There are over 100 videos, so you've got all sorts of videos to help you get the most out of your BlackBerry. And you can find those on our website at madesimplelearning.com. And again, we've got two tabs here, device videos and computer videos. So if you wanted to sync a specific folder, you could add the folder here and sync it. And then you also can select the video bitrate quality between low, medium, and high. Of course, high takes more space. And whatever you end up syncing, you want to check to make sure at the bottom here, you haven't exceeded your available space. So device videos, and these could be videos you took on your BlackBerry or you've already synced to your BlackBerry. And these, in my case, are new device videos because it hasn't seen these yet. And if you want to import these, just like pictures, click import here and it'll take all your videos you've taken on your BlackBerry and put them back on your computer. And remember, if you have device software 6.0, you'll see a little tab down here it says Wi-Fi Media Sync and that's a great feature because you can actually sync media between your BlackBerry and your computer wirelessly using your Wi-Fi network. The other cool thing about Wi-Fi Sync is if you set it up on your BlackBerry you'll see an entire list of all your music whether you've synced it or not and if you decide you want to grab some music you could go ahead and select that music to be taken off your computer and synced to your BlackBerry when you get back in range of your wireless network. So you could be at the airport thinking, oh, I want that song or this song, and you go ahead and check those songs in your BlackBerry. Then when you get back home to your home network, it'll sync those songs automatically. It's a great feature. That's the Wi-Fi Media Sync. So that's it for syncing media using your BlackBerry and desktop software, 6.0. Thanks for watching and listening.